He got it all out as well. <laughs> that, nah, that's crazy. <laughs> 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 he doesn't ask us if we're clapping anymore. He asks if we got it all out. That's how we start our episodes. <laughs> and like that, we back. Another episode of Club 520 Podcast. I'm the host. My name is DJ Wells. Shout out to the volume. Season two of my guys here. Same people as last time. To my left, my dog. Bishop Green Leaf, my boy out the prayer leaves be here. How you what today? Cooling, man. Let's get to it. Let's we, get to we, it. We starting off the episode with a cup count. Where you at today? That's five. F I. Yeah, you on pure bullshit. Black forces and glasses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know Respect the motto. The classic. You yeah, know the motto. Cups is out of pocket. Yeah, uh, the household. They, they're not liking your, your, hey, your solo I'm, budget. I listen. I use my same cups. Get over it. <laughs> Shit. I'm tired of talking about it. Yeah, I Respect. hope you don't use the same cups. Actually, I yeah. do, bro. I do. I just rinse them out, bro. That's crazy. You're a sicko. Shout out um, to P. <laughs> shout out to P. To my right, my dog, El Nato Young T. How you up today, man? When I'm cooling, man. I had got some shit in the mail. So they was really by the dough today. Uh, what's these? That Jordan 8's playoffs, I think. Yeah. Yeah. These ain't really some of my favorite. These ain't really my favorites, but they cool. Do you even fuck with eights like that? The Aqua 8's, they're, they're my favorite. Aqua Ace is yeah. top five Jordan for me. Yeah, for sure. Aqua Ace is fire. Uh, got the 23s on the table, some 21s. Yeah. These are some of my Jordans that I fuck with that kind of random. They kind of random to me. I think the 23s kind of random, but. It's one of the fire shoes. But that that was a different time period in shoes. That's when packs and shit was coming out. So you was either buying, well, that was in the pack. Yeah, yeah. You was either buying them or you was buying the pack. And in hindsight, Pax was low-key expensive back then because he was just like, damn, we was paying 140 for retro, so that three was a little tough. But shit, you ain't getting two shoes for three hundred dollars now. Not at all. She that shit's a smooth one. five. I'm, I bet when what the seventeens come back out, they're gonna be what or the sixteens? Which one about to come out? The briefcase? Which one? The seventeens? Yeah, but they're gonna be. They're gonna least. be three hundred. And what the fuck? And I'm about. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say it's some shit the niggas gonna buy. Yeah, I'm gonna buy. Yeah, yeah, it's all right. I'm about seventeen, three hundred. I'm buying. I don't matter. Ah, well, shit. Now, don't look. I thought those were going to sell. I I didn't expect them to sell out because I just I mean they're black and red Jordan. You can never underestimate the playoff. Yeah, yeah. they went crazy the first time. Like when we was in high school and they dropped. That was like that. I'm getting these for motherfucking Christmas shoes. We yeah, came back yeah, to breaking. Yeah. Everybody had them motherfuckers on the bus, but. Damn, 220 for some aces, crazy. Maybe yeah. it's the old nigga in me that just like, I could never do that shit. Yeah, I don't know. I just did it. Matter of fact, I got like seven pair of these. <laughs> you got so the old still? Yeah, I don't even know why I did it, but I did it. But what you think gonna go crazy are these or the cherries? Ah, oh, the cherries was gonna go crazy. Yeah, it's been a minute. It's one of the best Jordans Yeah, and it's been a minute. And I, I have no problem, whatever they want for those. Yeah, they could have told me three. Yeah, well, sign me for up sure. again. I'll be back. <laughs> Ask volume for a long. Let me get to it. Yeah, volume, but I'll be back. <laughs> Be here. We uh we see you just choosing violence this season. What's oh up, yeah, I don't. Yeah, you ain't fucking with us. Yeah, shout out to the goddamn it Tabernacle <laughs> Jordans on the table. <laughs> <laughs> see, he disrespectful. <laughs> trophy rooms, man. <laughs> tabernacle <laughs> trophy room. Yeah. Shout out to Marcus. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Don't disrespect. <laughs> Larsa. Uh. The Larsa P. Yeah. What them look like? They probably heat. <laughs> hey, if she get a P. That's fire. Probably got a big air on the side. Oh wow! Yeah, she you got the real fusions. <laughs> <laughs> no. Hey, if she puts the Jordan ones the air on the side. That would be crazy. She a go for that. She does not know. Hey, I know some of my graphic but designers. I, I need y'all to mark the, that up for me. The up tempo is coming back out. I seen. I don't know why. They got, I don't, they got the low top versions. I ain't really a fan of those. Uh, DeMar DeRozan rocked a pair for that uh, media shit. Those are crazy. But they slutted that shoe out so bad that it's just like, you know, like I like the black and white ones and the Olympic color ones. But you see them now, they got so many wide ass colors. It's like, damn, like they don't got the, the same. The black and white ones are the hardest ones. Yeah, for sure. I got the Dornbecker ones. I was wilding with those. Yeah. No, nah, nigga, you tripping them heat. They cool, <laughs> but it's just like. It's a heavy ass shoe. Yeah, I just like the originals of shoes pretty yeah. much. That's just yeah. me. I like Originals. Like That's I, how I feel about Barclays. Yeah, facts. The black one's about to come back out. I might have to scoop them. The in. all black. Yeah, man, I ain't gonna stunt. I forgot where we, we might have been at your event, and your brother had on the all black ones. Um, uh, I was like, damn, I ain't seen the all black yeah. Barclays in a long time. Them was Denver one of the harder shoes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Barclays got a crazy package actually with That's the shoes, crazy. like for real. Oh. <laughs> That's crazy. What? <laughs> Barclays got a crazy package. Wow. <laughs> That is insane, but I was really talking about like he got a, all them different styles of shoes that he got for that to be Barkley. He got the hardest big man shoe for sure. Oh, yeah, because most big man shoes are completely trash. What about 
Mm, big Barkley man. got the hardest yeah. big man shoe, bro. Uh, what about them Tim Duncans before he went to the Fuck Duke? no, them ain't fucking with the Barkley. You talking about the total phone positive yeah. max? Yeah. They fire, but Barkley got that CB. Fired. They fire. They fire, but you shit. That Barkley, <laughs> that CB94 is different. It is. It's cold. And he got multiple heaters, too. I, honestly, I, I'm not going to say it's close near there, but it's not too bad of a toss up if you go signature miles between him and Penny. But uh, Pippen. Pippen did. Well, a couple of different people, yeah. but those Air ones, mostly Pippen, yeah. Was that sure. white and blue Chris Webber up tempo? Mm -hmm. It was a Air Max. Um, sensation? Yeah, Sensation. Oh, that mug was heat too, boy. That's one of my favorite yeah, basketball I swear to God, shoes. That, that, might, that might be <laughs> the best. That's better than the Barkley. Oh. That's your opinion. I swear. I he like, said that's your opinion. Nah, for real. I, Cause I fuck with that shoe so heavy. I'm really not like. I think that's better than that. the Barkley. I, I think that is a great debate. Pocket, it's out of pocket. Which that's color? I think you kind of out of pocket. That white and blue. That white crazy. and blue or that black and blue <laughs> is crazy. Ooh, nah, that black and blue. The black that and blue black is fire. And, yeah. Oh my god. The black and blue is fire. Well, that black fire. and blue is. Crazy. Niggas don't really fuck with this colorway, but me and my nigga Phil Collins fuck with these. The white and red ones are crazy. I had those. Come yeah, on. And I had the white and black ones. Yeah. I niggas slept on the white and red nah, ones. But that black and blue. Yeah. yeah I'm putting that up against that Barkley any day. Oh, that's tough. We got to do a poll. Yeah, they got to do a poll because that mug is fire. And they ain't, they need to, they came back what? what they came back recently. They yeah, but they came back when we was like, I don't what? be knowing about all the old show. I don't be knowing about this new That might have been like 2012, maybe. 11. They came back again recently, though. They, I think they dropped within the last four years. Nah. They yeah. was on sale. Nah. Hey, we got to nah, fact check me and, Hugh, me and Hugh look up these, we eBay these shoes every day. Like, bro, we got to find these. <laughs> the hair back man, yeah, we gotta peep it, but yeah. Nike basketball. I'm like, I'm, I don't know. I guess like I got the new LeBrons the twenty ones, and they nice. They feel like Kobe's okay, but like, I wish we could get that feeling again, like that nostalgia <laughs> that's shit. Crazy. Like, nah, that's wild. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was going, I'm out of pocket. I, he was on a roll, so I was like, I, was like, I tried to put the nostalgia in front of him. So I, I'm out of pocket. My apologies, but like they releasing all the classic pennies and shit again. I'm like, damn, like ain't none of this new shit gonna ever feel like that no more. Like we gotta wait for this shit every five years. Yeah, the new the pennies. Uh, I like pennies, but they never really been my. Oh, favorite. you out of pocket? You don't fuck with pennies? The penny ones were my favorite. I don't like how they. Uh, I don't like how they feel. Like mm. the shoe. Damn, them I, them, damn. They hard. They look good, but I don't know. That black, white, and royal blue penny, whatever number that is. The first, is. That's one of the best. Yeah. That's one of my favorite. <laughs> but I got a, the comfort of the shoe is so terrible. Yeah. Yeah, they so uncomfortable. They are not the most comfortable. But yeah. they was made for back then because the penny twos look amazing, but they feel like shit. Terrible. But they are They are. Fire. But they are fire. Shit, yeah. maybe that's. Next yeah. episode, I'm coming with the penny. What was that, three? Yeah, I'm coming with three. Wow. That's the big high top one, right? Yeah, but with yeah, the I'm, I'm bringing mm -hmm. out. phone positive yeah, shit on the side. Yeah, yeah. I'm bringing them out. Damn, that's crazy. All right, man. NBA season back. We all geeked up. Everybody reporting. How was it for you to like end your summer and then have to go to training camp? Because it's kind of like, damn, I'm off spring break now. I got to go back to work type shit. It's actually like the funnest time because you you low like it's kind of weird pause, but you kind of like miss the guys. Like you be around your family so long, you compete, you be around your friends, but then you get to go back to work and it's like, damn, I get to compete at a high level against the ghost, against some, go against some people that I know probably done got a little better. Like, you've been playing your local homeboys here. It ain't the same type of vibe. Now you get to get back with the guys and see, like, how can we make this championship run? And then, I got to say, I should ask, it's different, obviously, going to, like, when you was in Atlanta, you was there for a minute, so you was repeatedly coming back. How was it going into a new training camp with a different team? The first time I went to training camp with – uh, the Pacers, that was my first time getting traded. That, uh, I don't even know, bro. It wasn't, it wasn't fun. It wasn't bad. It was just whatever. Like, they, they, you know, they, I ain't know nobody, it. so I ain't talk. So I was just there. Like, I just tried to stay out of the way. They had y'all really working, too. Yeah, I didn't make the, I didn't pass the conditioning test. You didn't pass the conditions? No. Sign that 25 grand. I ain't making that one, G. Talking about what? Yeah, I didn't make it. You you had to. Uh, Is that in your contract? I never made it in Atlanta. Uh, we stopped doing it with Bud. Bud didn't have one. But when uh, Larry Drew was our coach, he had it. My back life, my back would lock up every time. Like, it's over with. I ain't making it. Bro, 25 bands, bro. I can still hoop. 
Yeah, I, I didn't give a fuck. You can have that. <laughs> like, I yeah. wasn't taking that test, bro. It just wasn't for me. I couldn't do it. And then when I got to Indiana, we did the same thing. But I didn't get fined, I don't think. I think I might have made it, though. Aaron Brooks passed out. Damn. Yeah, it was that tough. Was crazy. Yeah, it's tougher than that nigga. They was feeding that nigga's crackers on his back. I was wrong. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. Oh, that's crazy. Air books get treated like a drug girl in the club. Yeah, they <laughs> just feed them crackers. Like, come on, man. He was, you know, but that's low key. Actually, that's one of the worst things on earth. Going to the club and having to leave with a woman that's like over intoxicated is like the worst thing ever. Like, you know, you go out with your people. We got yeah. friends we know that don't know how to stop drinking, and it's like, damn. Who are really those friends? Nurse right Let's now, call huh? them out. <laughs> I ain't never experienced that one. Oh, you you don't have any friends that never, never went too crazy in the club. Oh yeah, I'm talking about I seen where little I little Amber the motherfucker though. I seen Lil Amber legit fall in a line. Yeah, I mean shout out Did you see that? Yeah, Was you there I, that night? Shout out to the yeah, ball. Yeah, bro, but we you got Kayla, you got Amber, you got oh, Tia Burns, you got Oh, oh you going um, crazy. I was just saying I see that. You got moment. shout out to Sherelle. Her 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 alias is Jelly. You got God damn um, Charles that said a nigga alias? Man, oh, it's so better. it's so many delineages <laughs> deep. <laughs> With that's a that. sick-ass lineage. Yeah, who else? for sure. Like, who else? Keep um, going. Uh, we'll, we'll bring you they all would have. They always want a shout-out. So like, yeah, yeah. But they, yeah. Had, they had some crazy nights in the club. But shout-out to all my ladies. Though. They're my dogs. Yeah, them shout-out to Carlos Rossi. Bro. My dogs, see yeah. Amber fall in line, that might be the crazy. She just fell straight. Sure. Tierra used to wear the heels with no back, with no heel on the back. They used to just be sticking up to the front. Like, her toes used to be pointing, and she fell in front of the motherfucker since it was so hard. So, that's like, that's equivalent to having the Timberland with the single sole, not the double sole. <laughs> For sure. You're nasty with a single sole Timberland. <laughs> For but sure. The circumcised Tims are never the vibe. Never. But do you, all right, if you had to leave with a drunk girl after the club. Oh, man. What's, what's your vibe? Are you still, like, you going to tear her up? When you get to the crib, nah, or that sound like rape. Yeah, Rick Ross. <laughs> yeah, that sound, no, no, that it's sounds not, bad. It's not rape, but that was already the game plan. <laughs> That's, that don't sound like she. Omaha. Yeah, that don't sound Omaha. like she gave you consensual. <laughs> Omaha. Oh, y'all talking about too sloppy. <laughs> yeah. I'm talking about if she on that. I'm not. I don't know. I'm not. I didn't get oh, consent. Didn't know, know. These niggas were filthy. Trust me. <laughs> oh wait, wait. That's nah. crazy. I don't even like drunk girls. <laughs> I don't, I don't like drunk girls. Remember we had that debate a while back. We talked about if you want a drunk girl or a girl to get high. Yeah. I just want tipsy. I don't want drunk. Nah, nah. Ain't no tipsy because they don't never know when to stop. Yeah. I, I, need, I need the one who know when to stop. Like, yeah, I'm I'm, I'm, a little, I'm, I'm feeling Girls that. can get too high too, though, DJ. Yeah, I'm they like, going to go to sleep. Yeah, I'm cool <laughs> off the high. A drunk woman might yell at you the rest of the night. A high girl's going to go to sleep after she eats some crackers and shit. <laughs> I'd rather take that than the other one. <laughs> Right, right. Yeah, what about if you got a fun? Uh, we already did this before. Oh, we're here. Right. It's yeah. our podcast. But, 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 I mean, what about if you got a fun drunk? Though? That's what I'm saying, y'all. Like a girl. I but didn't I, say we talking about where you gotta pick them up. Oh, man. see, now nah, I was just talking about a motherfucker that got too lit. You like, yeah. Damn, I'm saying, is she killing your buzz because you not as drunk as her is what I'm saying. Ain't nobody talking about a girl. I've been in the club like that. Throwing up, sleeping, and all that type yeah. shit. Hell I've been in the nah. car with P one day. She was so turned up drunk that I got so shitty. <laughs> She yeah. was like, I was driving. She was like climbing on me. Like, yeah, like trying to kiss me. I sit the fuck down, man. God damn, you weird. Now you in the car while yeah, you driving? Yeah, I was driving. We was driving back from Onyx. Yeah. You know that was our spot. Yeah. R.I.P. Onyx. <laughs> we was driving back. R.I.P. <laughs> Wasn't was, that your dog name too? No, that was somebody else. That's oh, my man, Uncle you Joe out of pocket. We gonna name our <laughs> dog Onyx. Name your dog after a strip. <laughs> no, that's my Uncle Joe. <laughs> my dog. <laughs> Uncle Joe. My dog was named was Taz. Uh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. But we, uh, was driving back, she was climbing on the seat all on me and shit. I was mad as hell. Damn, I but, love them type of nights. Uh, I would. When they aware, cause that, oh, it's up. Cause that shit, when they aware, this nigga. <laughs> aware of what? While y'all in this shit, bang. Cause this they are conscious. Sick. No, I'm saying though, y'all talking about, I was wondering why y'all was referring to that. I'm like, hell no, nah, bro, I'm talking about a girl. why you didn't catch Omaha. <laughs> no, fuck that. I'm saying like, when you go to the club, I'm just paint the picture, fuck Paint the picture. You go out to the club and you know maybe this is you and your girls first time going to the club together. Everybody had it. You like, damn, I didn't know you got this drunk. Is that damn near embarrassing? Or are you like, man, she having a good ass time. I don't want to fuck up her vibe, but I'm low key shitty because she low key embarrassing. That's how I felt when I went with Kayla the first time in Atlanta. Oh wow. She started crying when she seen little Bow Wow. I remember that story. I saw it, nigga. <laughs> in the club, crying. <laughs> 
It was my childhood. Bro, said, she had a whole like uh, what I do you said, call that? A stick figure of this nigga in the crib, whole body picture of this nigga. I and said, Wayne. this nigga is five two. Why are you crying over this little bitty ass nigga? So I tell nigga, bro, Bow Wow was big though when he was kids, bro. He was. Hey man, listen, that's one person who gets a lot of slander, and he deserves it. Um. Bow Wow was cold, bro. He was that nigga who he was going up. <laughs> he, yeah. was, he was cold bro. as fuck. He now, was. Now, when we met Shad, we was like, all right, nigga, you out of pocket. But Bow Wow, Bow wow was lit, bro. And yeah. Bow Wow's first two albums are fire. Now, I ain't going that far. I'm not going back to listen to them. But they the were elite at that time. They yeah. were. Don't do that. I'm not. Hey, I'm just saying. I just wasn't this into This nigga don't like anything about childhood. We no, just talked to this nigga about I'm, all no, that. I and said, he told no, him we were trash. Bow, Bow, Speaking of that. Bow Wow had good records, but go ahead, King. You talk about all that. You didn't, He said he didn't watch all that. I feel like anybody that was born 86 and up, they watched all that. Yeah, when I was over the guy's house, maybe. like, But now I was never turning that on myself. Like, oh, shit, all, all that about to come out. Let me get my noodles off the microwave and tune in. That was the play? Like, You ain't watch Cousin Skeeter? Shit like that? Cousin Skeeter was funny. Yeah, it was. Hey, yeah. man, all that had one of the best theme song intros of By all time. By far, it's be- the best one ever. Yeah, when that shit, when you heard that shit, it was like, oh, yeah, I'm about to lock in. Like, Kale was just so lame, oh. bro. Like, what did y'all like about the show? Them niggas was funny, bro. Them little skits was crazy. Yeah, they was damn near. It was like the kids living color. Yeah, really? I watched Living Color too, though, but. Right, and that's a huge difference, bro. It is, but I wasn't supposed to be watching that shit. Yeah, but y'all grew up different, too, so it is. I mean, I get it. I that's how I feel about Mad TV. Mad TV was funny as fuck to me. I had a business watching it, but Mad TV was funny than a bitch to me. Yeah, I didn't like know. Saturday Night Live. I didn't want to see that shit. But no, I didn't either. Mad TV, them niggas was wilding out a lot. Living Color probably one of the best shows ever. <laughs> yeah, Take your it. headphones off. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, mean nigga. It's my show, nigga. <laughs> Hollywood. <laughs> <laughs> no, all that. Okay. <laughs> is that the best? Is that the you best? First uh, one to go Hollywood, <laughs> man. <laughs> so never gave you niggas money. Man, first one to go. Nah, Hollywood. is that the best show on Nickelodeon though? When we was kids? Nah, it wasn't the best. What y'all got? I don't even We ain't remember. got to do a top five. I'm just saying. Nickelodeon. Like, what did prefer over? Uh, it probably was that. the best. I mean, Kim nah, and Kill was right there. They had to be. It was good. Yeah. So, them was all tied together, basically. Like, Okay. Because yeah. I always wonder what Nick, what was Nick Cannon on? That's how y'all know I didn't watch that shit. Like, I don't I even don't know. Think he, was on, he was on all that like later, but we, later, but we, we wasn't was already. That. Yeah, oh, okay, okay, We okay. wasn't okay. fucking with it by then. We was on those. Because that nigga been a part of TV. I ain't going to lie. Nickelodeon was hard. They had a show I used to watch called Taina. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. She was kind of fun when I was little. I guess I used to watch that shit, but it was damn. Random. Only chick I was really attracted to that you know, was probably Topanga. Topanga, Topanga was elite. That show was fire too. Yeah. Boy Meets World was a heated show. Yeah, definitely. But that you had to have real good cable for no, Boy Meets World. That was Disney Channel, I think, wasn't it? Boy Meets World was on ABC, but wasn't it? But we um, had it. I think that was Disney Channel. Topanga really because Boys Boys Meets World was lit, and then you had the sad shit of Seventh Heaven. I don't know if y'all ever Seventh Heaven was crazy. That's yeah. when I knew that was dark. Yeah, that's when I knew the kids that grew up in the church wasn't shit. When yeah. I watched Seventh Heaven, I ain't sure. catch, I ain't watched Seventh Heaven. It, it, it wasn't cracking. It, it was a white sitcom. Yeah, you, you didn't miss nothing, bro. Nah. You didn't miss nothing. I used to. Uh, yeah, okay, that's all. Okay, that shit was on regular. I was TV. watching shit like. Uh, Wayne's brothers and Steve Harvey show and shit. Yeah, that was me. That's what I'm saying. I never got into the cartoons. What was that shit called? WB? WB, yeah, I was like W four. <laughs> what the fuck? Is what, y'all, what y'all think was a better show though, the Wayans Brothers or Steve Harvey? Steve Harvey for me. Uh, I I got know, Steve Harvey too. I'm playing devil's advocate. I'm going Wayans Brothers. I think Wayans Brothers one of the most underrated of them shows. Wayans Brothers literally used to do anything that Martin did. If you go back and watch the shows, they had like, the same characters. Bro. Then what? They go to a, Martin go to a coat. Marlon went to a coat. Yep. He came back with that little curl on his head. But Pops was so funny. I was going to say, the difference funny. in that show that Pops was funny than a bitch every he episode. He was funny, but they did used to steal all of Martin's shit. Or Martin used to steal that. I can't remember what show came out first. I think Martin did that. I just love, like, the LaVita and Cedric. Like, I fucked with them. Them to having the matching airbrush shirts with their faces on, they still one of the hardest fits I've ever seen. It was hard, that bro. That fits nasty. And the principal yeah, was please cold. Please don't try to recreate that. Regina was hard. You gotta Regina see was cold. She's one of the hardest TV personalities. Yeah, but the fact that she really up. looked like Lil Mama and Glorilla is crazy. No, that is silly. 
<laughs> that she do look nah, just like do. them, though. Bro, oh, that shit is crazy. She, she does. She look like a gorilla. It's crazy. No, nah, she do, bro. I be seeing that picture talking about this is really her parents, Stevie. Stevie nah, Regina. for real. And we used to always talk about nigga Steve, Har- Steve Harvey hairline and realize, like, well, didn't realize. That was a fucking hairpiece. Yeah, him and Darryl Williams lied to us, man. I'm like, fuck, that nigga had the first unit. <laughs> and that bitch was solid. Cause I'm like, damn, bitch, get lined up every day. His hair don't yeah, move. Yeah, I'm like, damn, when they used to perform when the funk hit the fan. <laughs> when the funk hit the fan. All, All my the people want to be. Don't get funky. And that's when I knew Steve Harvey was kind of shit. Funky. That nigga trying to push the Ozzy brother out the top spot. <laughs> nigga, you are Steve Harvey. You got Ozzy. Hey, he had Bad Wall on his show, too. Talking yeah. about he going to have Bad Wall perform yeah. on his shit. Hey, oh, boy, I fucked with Bullethead and Buddy that. Bullethead and Romeo, Romeo, Romeo. Romeo. Yeah. Hey, yeah. that was funny to the bitch, man. Damn, you got me want to watch that shit again, man. <laughs> For shit, real, that bro. That shit on, uh, it's on one of those sites. Amazon yeah. Prime, yeah. That, that, was, that was a great show. Yeah. I tw- uh, Tig, I don't, you don't fuck with Twitter. We got to get you on Twitter, man. The streets be requesting you, but. This nigga, that nigga on Twitter right now. Who? Be his that nigga on Twitter right now. For real? Your Twitter is yeah, Twitter yeah. star. Yeah, Did he bro. pay for your? You pay for your check? No, nah, I, ain't, I ain't. You oh, know, okay. I ain't fuck with that. You know what I mean? Uh, My shit'll be raw dog too. I get granted. I don't know what that means. I don't either. <laughs> <laughs> No, nah, blank right. canvas. Uh, oh, my fault. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> y'all to make shit awkward. Nah, then, instead about, of like, niggas keep talking about what we talking about, <laughs> niggas be like, well, damn, hold on, pause, wait a minute. What do you mean by that? Who act like you ain't seen the show before, nigga? Like, <laughs> like he's not a part of it. You're a part of this production team, nigga. Don't act brand new. Nah. But he asked a question on Twitter. He asked Nelly or Fifty, and that shit went crazy. Music catalog. And Ooh. it's low key a tough question because the I feel catalog. a lot of good things about both of them. I didn't know if it was gonna go that crazy, bro. I literally woke up and was cooking like, damn. Let me, you know, DJ be getting on me about you know not using my Twitter. Let me go ahead and ask a question. And that shit, bro. I'm talking about niggas putting songs. I'm like, damn. I'm gonna go with. Yeah, I'll let you tough. go. I'll let you go first. I'm gonna. I wonder what y'all say. Go ahead. I'm, I'm gonna say Nelly. Okay. The bag is deeper. That's crazy. Good. I gotta go fifty, even though I don't want to. Uh, don't Nelly get like a diamond album? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I'm gonna go with. N- I don't know. So it's, what's better, Gene Unit or St. Lunatics? That, that, what are we oh doing? come on, man! <laughs> uh, Lloyd Banks is a legend. Okay, uh, so G Unit better. The group for sure. Yeah, it's not even game close. came from that. Lineage. Fifty wrote half of yeah, I'm Game's go first with, album. I'm gonna go with fifty. Man. That's, that's the, the. I think that's where I give the leg up on fifty pin. Not, Not to say Nelly don't got a pen, but that nigga writing games. Well, Ali and them was writing some of Nelly shit. That's they all they, were. That's what yeah. they say on the. Uh, on his I just don't. I just interview. like Tip Drill is like an underground record that's just still legendary. It ain't underground. It's uh, one of the best music videos of all time. No, but you can't find yeah, it. Yeah, I still couldn't recreate that video yet, but I've been trying. No, oh. for real, you should. But I'm saying though, that is. I a, had the pool part. I just couldn't get the the setting right. Yeah, we had to get some better looking girls. Uh. Damn. Oh. That what was the scout report? Uh, couple stretch fours, uh, Fort Wayne Mad Ants. <laughs> but Nelly, so say he at y'all <laughs> for sure. <laughs> he at y'all said, Hey, he I, had to say, it. I, was, I said, Nigga should have called babes up here. <laughs> <laughs> he at y'all. <laughs> nah, you said it's a bunch show. of two way contracts. Check <laughs> it down. Listen, for sure, I'm about to start dating the girls and tell them, like, listen, he talk about y'all. Go ahead. You know, I'm with all this shit nah, now. Y'all didn't turn me into the demon on the show. Fuck it. No, we didn't do anything. I, <laughs> res- I respect my people, man. They was, they nah, shout people. out to them. Nah, I'm saying, though, like, Nelly got that record. He got so many versatile records. 50 does, too, but I just think Nelly's run is just a little bit longer so what's, far as music. What's I, better, hot in here or in the club? Come on, bro. You out of pocket. What's the question? I mean, what's the answer? I mean, what's like, what's the bigger oh, one? Oh, we like? know we gonna say in the club. I'm saying like, as far as like, you the know, masses. I don't go off numbers, but no, I'm no, I'm saying, saying for the masses. Like, oh, hot in here. You think it's bigger than in the club? What? Them Butler parties that we used to go to. Shout out to Shell. Shout out to Shell. Nigga, I'm telling you, them white people love that. That hot in here, and goddamn it. To the windows, to the wall. <laughs> no, that's a fact. No, no bullshit, bro. Those nah. two records. Every time we went out, every Automatic. time we went out, we heard it. Yeah. Who you club, got high hair in the club, Mike? Like bigger record? Yeah, in the well, in the club was ah. not bigger than hot in the club is not bigger than hot in here, y'all. Oh yes it is. Fuck yes, it no. Is. Yeah it is. Yeah it is. I had. I'm really saying think about like yeah, if is, you bro. go to the club and let's say it's a what Las club Be- you going? We to? in a Las Vegas club. Oh hot in here. Hot in here. But they play 
in the club for everybody's fucking you birthday. Hear in the it's club, a birthday every day. But you, you can go, use it any no, setting. You're going to hear in the club with a dudes, a dudes, a dudes, a dudes, a dudes in Vegas, bro. You might not hear that raw version. Hot in here is getting played, nigga. The raw version of Hot in here is getting played, bro. The white people go crazy for that song, bro. All right. That's Hot in here in the club, all right. But it's more, I don't know. That's, that's tough because they're both recognizable songs. But the beginning of In the Club, it's probably a random old. Oh, that first that 30 knows. seconds is crazy. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That song that is too recognizable. Yeah, that got you. The first 30 seconds of that, I just, I'm thinking about everybody in the world. Okay, what's Nelly's other big song that you would say? Oh, uh, Nelly got slaps. I mean, he got he got hella records, but I'm just trying to do And he got person. love records, too. Yeah, he do. Kelly Rowland. Uh, yeah, Dilemma's Dilemma, crazy. Dilemma's, that's one of my favorite songs. And he got the, uh, what, is, what, what is, about 21 Questions and Dilemma? Dilemma. 21 Questions. Ooh, 21 Questions. I that's prefer it. 21 Questions when I am listening to it. Yeah. But the lineage, Dilemma. But it's better than 21 Questions. But you can play that Nate Dogg hook and niggas not going to be mad about that. You play Dilemma in the club, somebody might feel away. I ain't even saying playing the club, I'm just saying. It's a, but you could get that, you could get that Nate Dogg hook off in the club. Now, you wilding, but. Yeah. But, but also, 50 got fucking theme music like it's it's close because nelly got air force ones all right candy shop or air force one since y'all doing crazy we, we ass can't song. we can't put them two together that's, that's not, disrespectful that's not, to that's not air force one is elite that's <laughs> that's gonna, nah, you gotta do one of them booty songs what's that one song nelly had it was like uh it was get your ego on that's candy yeah drop down get your ego that's like candy shop Ah, Nelly did make some white some like that's corny weird. ass songs Shot even though i fuck with nelly what is grills it? is terrible yeah Grizzly. Oh, Grills used to slap in them no. parties. Oh, it did, but it, it was a nasty that, song. No, that fucking beat was crazy, bro. That beat was Niggas hard. was no, going to Lafayette Square and getting <laughs> Rose Gold Gold and the bullshit platinum nigga Grills, bro. They were. No cap. Bro. Shout out to the niggas who telling us they was getting platinum when we was That's 19. Why I, I, I was even telling people, back then, Nelly was more influential than fucking 50 Cent, bro. Yeah, niggas couldn't be that strong. Ain't nobody got shot. Like, mm-hmm. 50, like 50 Cent was, like, the tough nigga, but Nelly had niggas really wearing forces. Definitely. And he had yeah. niggas getting goals, bro. That was a nigga package. White tee, big jeans, forces, goals. Yeah. And oh. they was kind of fucking with jerseys, too. That's some Midwest shit, though. Like, if we're going to be, if we're going to keep it a stack, the East Coast like to claim a lot of shit. Midwest niggas have always really low-key been the freshest niggas. Like, Southern niggas, eh. New York niggas style is different for sure. Like, they got the distinct style, they but got I'm talking it about. first. I would say that. Ah. Nah, bro. New, been New York niggas been wearing forever. Supreme. No, nah, I, I mean, I'm not Jim saying Jones that. Jim Jones and them, like, that fashion East Coast is Well, different. that's because everything is there. I'm not going to discredit yeah. them on that. But if you see, like, they be biting from Midwest niggas. Come on, man. Right. We got that's, easy. That's tough. To say a Midwest overall is more Some of the freshest the niggas come from the Midwest. I don't know. <laughs> Cause Iowa, <laughs> I don't know nobody fresh. Iowa ain't Iowa. the Midwest, nigga. <laughs> what the Shout case? out to Louisville. Shout out to Ohio. Oh, Ohio. Louisville swag is crazy. <laughs> I ain't seen too many fresh niggas in Ohio. Yeah, that's a big, big state in the Midwest, bro. Hey man, them New York niggas is different, bro. Ain't no disrespect. I'm saying a lot. Cause we too many niggas get fresh in Indiana. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we not no fresh niggas in Indiana. Yeah, like we that. don't really care like that. Yeah, I definitely don't. Overall, care. Overall, we don't really care, nah. bro. Them New York people care. Like, yeah, they man, wake up. Like they, oh, they did y'all see up. how Jim Jones and, I mean, how they was getting on Fab for going to the gym, bro. Yeah. He was working out with Mano in there, bro. That's, Fab is extra, though. I'm just, but they did. Cam Ryan and them were fashion back in the day. Dang yeah, Dash. nigga, we wanted to be like Dipset. Right, yeah. you never wanted to be like nobody from the West Coast, bro. You said the West Coast? I mean, uh, uh, I, yeah, yeah, I, definitely, I definitely wanted to dress like some West Coast niggas, though. I don't know. Who? Who? I'm saying, like, when I was younger, I thought, like, Raiders hats and shit was fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I fuck with that. But I'm talking about Midwest <laughs> you niggas. You weren't wearing flannels and cutoffs. <laughs> like, Cam and them was your nah, niggas. I, I did wear Chucks, though. I ain't going to wear it. I went through a phase where I rock Chucks. Yeah, I fucked with Chucks, naturally. Who don't? It was like some I of the I just can't be outside. Too. I feel like Kanye started the Midwest swag. Put yeah, niggas yeah, on the map. I mean, yeah, y'all niggas wearing two polos. <laughs> Yeah, that was crazy. That was, that crazy. was, that was crazy. Township shit. No, that wasn't. On no, my mama. On my mama, I ain't wear no two polo. Nigga, don't. Nigga, you wasn't the whole Pike Town shit. I am. Coach T, nigga. I am. Hold it, sit down. What my nigga got, he say, I am. Nah, nigga, them suburban ass kids that was going Nigga, we were in the suburbs no more, bro. They started building them little ass houses. But when y'all was in high school, it was, your freshman year, nigga, it was still the suburbs over there, bro. It didn't get dirty to the end of your motherfucking high school lineage, bro. 
Facts. Nah, I, actually, it, it got was, cleaned up when I was, because I was here behind him. It got cleaned up. But it, when I first got there, it was filthy, nigga. It was, nigga. It was people from the east side going there. All type of shit. Our first day of school. I'm talking about, but it, y'all had more. Pike was like, I was saying, everybody people. transferred yeah, to Pike at some point. Like DJ, like DJ and them neighborhood, Codal Sacks and all that shit. Niggas had that, bro. Niggas was wearing double. Double motherfucker polos from yeah, that, yeah it was it's niggas, definitely niggas a side Robinson, where niggas was wearing. Uh, Village and all that shit, bro. It was definitely like, a side. real neighborhood. Nah, niggas bro. in Robinson Village wouldn't wear. No, nah, niggas they, at Barber Robinson Village, Village <laughs> they was they wouldn't wear that. That was that was cutting it close. <laughs> Y'all was that right was on, on thirty eight. He was, <laughs> was on make that little bend around yeah, guy. Yeah, shit got different. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Take a slight bend. What you going to the Riverside? You yeah, at Riverside, man. They were. Yeah. Oh, that's funny as hell. Yeah, that's a little bit different. Damn, that's crazy, though. I'm going to get it. Nah, fashion, dog. God, Kanye started the Midwest, bro. I don't even know who else we got to look up to. Who? Bone Thugs, Twister? Who we got? Hey, don't say Bone Thugs. Get well. Yeah. Get well. Get healthy, get well. Boy. What crazy. Sick? Yes. Yeah, crazy. <laughs> Which one? Crazy Bone. <laughs> Is that the dark skin one? That's the one that wrapped them up. The only one that you know that still makes you know, music. Never you mind. Y'all know my, how my mind get. Oh, they, let's hear it. No, they came and sniped him. He, was he did. Three. He was on that. Talking about. Uh, you know, bro. Yeah. I ain't, I ain't, they must snipe me. I ain't talking yeah, about. <laughs> I was free. I was listening to something. I was listening to something about Michael Jackson <laughs> last night. got a bad liver or something. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga got cirrhosis or something probably that they put out there. I ain't saying that. I hope he get healthy, Put though. the crown down, crazy. For sure. Man, they gonna fry this nigga. All right, man. Get healthy, bro. Get healthy, bro. They already be killing you talking about uh, the locks and shit. Fuck them, bro. I, I, no, I fuck with the locks. They... Yeah, come on. Oh, man. Get, get healthy, bro. Get well, get yeah, well. don't pull the plug yet. I, the locks is the only crew that I fuck with. From the West Coast. Niggas hate I mean, you East for Coast. that East Coast. Man, what's so crazy about that shit? Set. It'd be like 40 or 50 year old niggas. Man, you won't fuck with this hip hop? Nigga, go <laughs> they be get some ass. Niggas be like 50, <laughs> nah, 55. Fuck, fuck that, nigga. <laughs> and, I feel y'all. And, hey, hold keep on, writing. Oh, I love this. Hold keep, on. Keep writing that shit because nah, they disrespectful. Ass. Ass. Shout out Disrespect to the Woo. Disrespect me. That's fucked up. Yeah, shout out to the Woo. Yeah. Shout out to the fucking Method Man on Drink Champs talking about. How Big L served him as West Sticks back in the day. I told you that lineage is broken down, bro. Well, they ain't said they ain't do drugs. Nah, bro, they you can't respect that. Everybody bro. Cam, back then do drugs. No, Cam and the Locks, Jada Kids, don't put that smut on them. Man, bro. All them niggas did drugs. No, they man. didn't, bro. Don't put that smut on Styles P, bro. Man, man. they would never, bro. I told y'all, bro. <laughs> he said the ghost would never. <laughs> the niggas was different, bro. bro. They was different. Yeah, they was looking they was different niggas, bro. They from what Staten Island or something like that. They Lord. different. Speaking of different, um, we've had this conversation, but Money Bag Yo is giving out gym inspirations. Man, and that everybody, nigga had surgery. Man. Everybody start bringing up the lipo allegations. Man, that nigga had surgery. Man. So is there something wrong with what he's doing? Nah. Yes. But nigga, no, you, he's not telling nobody. You doing, that what, he... you doing what girls did with BBLs, man? We just got upset about this woman lying. He ain't said nothing. Why y'all coming at money bag like that? He ain't said nothing. I ain't mad at him, nigga. Nah, get your money, but He's you out of pocket. In shape. How, why? You out of pocket. I can bro. see if he was online saying, "Yeah, I work for this." Nigga, he keeping he his body. That's did. why. No, he didn't, bro. He never said nothing. He be in the gym. He posts his workouts. Everybody saying, "Don't let me, don't let the world be fooled." This nigga had his motherfucking abs sucked in or pulled out, whatever the fuck you got to do to get your body right, nigga. But that's just he crazy. ain't on that motherfucker like Jennifer Hudson. Oh. And what's your problem with Jennifer Hudson? Why do you always mess with Jennifer, bro? That's a wild beef. Because she, she was online in them weak-ass yoga outfits saying, <laughs> I worked for this body. We know you went under that Amazon vacuum, bitch. The Amazon? Yes, bro. Moneybag ain't doing that. He's just like, shit, look at me, bro. If y'all want to keep y'all BBL together, stay in the gym. I just want to know the process of that. Because how? what do you got to do? Fill Y'all out slandering this nigga for getting his body done. No, that's crazy. I'm not slandering. Anybody getting bo- a nigga getting his body done is crazy. I, I, yeah, bro, but I can see if he was out here promoting like he didn't do it. The nigga ain't, he don't care. The girls that do it, I don't know why they talking about him. You see them girls all the time with that motherfucking pogo stick getting rolled on their back. <laughs> all that shit, doing the same Motherfucking shit. Motherfucking tree like cinnamon rolls. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, I don't care if you had a BBL, but don't. No, nah, I go crazy. Yeah, do your thing. Actually, I, I don't pre- know the name I pre- of it, child. I prefer you to get a BBL. I'm Uh-oh. talking about women right now. 
Yeah. But if you, uh, <laughs> but if your homeboy, if your homeboy used to text him when he come back with Ab, oh, like, he wouldn't <laughs> let me live if I got life. Nah, if you got lipo, bro, I would be killing you. Ah, oh, shit, I don't care what you. I don't really give a fuck what nobody do. But nah, yeah, yeah, yeah. But if but you, if you promote it, like. If I got my abs done or something, right. I swear to God, I'm never taking my shirt off and be in the gym. I'm just gonna be in the gym, but yeah, I ain't nah, flexing I on that. nobody. I ain't. Niggas I'll be like, like I just be like, yeah, I work out, bro. I just gotta maintain. For nah, sure. Niggas popping out like the girls. They don't post with too much of it. Yeah, all the shit. pictures. The nigga first picture on him on the beach. Everybody shirt off, nigga arms. Yeah, Gym life, nah. LL and them did it, bro. LL ain't getting no abs. That nigga they was did, bro. That nigga been built since he was 16. Drake plus. got it. Everybody got yeah, it. I bro. definitely don't disagree with Drake. <laughs> Drake got it. Well, I seen his new video. What he had going on? Why he got cramps in his hair? Yeah. What's wrong with this nigga? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the music is fire. It's, but I was reading something they said that they were about to end because everybody, you're going to start confusing people. I don't know, this is random, but Wait, it was what? just like, dudes going to start acting like girls. Girls going to start acting like dudes. It's going to be one big blend. And <laughs> I'm just saying it just. All right, Dave Chappelle, be I, careful. My fault. I'm not saying that you can't be that. Okay. I'm just saying they love for you want to love, yeah, right, J Boy? I see who you are. I just said they said it's gonna start getting confused. Yeah, bro, you just speak your mind, bro. Yeah, Dang, fuck I'm that. I'm starting to get confused because now everybody got finger paint. I'm like, what? Like, you know, dudes, like, like, nah, I'm being for real, like. Oh, you, you mean like nail polish? Yeah, I'm gonna be on the ground like Shadora Sanders. I'm gonna have a little canvas. Yeah, I'm like, what we doing? You talking about the nail? Excuse me. You know you go nigga do the canvas and you know not finger canvas. paint, but I'm saying like they yeah, got their nails. About nail polish. Are you talking about the, uh, the paint zips? Yeah, that's, yeah. What, that's what girls go to cheat. <laughs> Sipping paint handy. Yeah, I'm but I'm that. just like damn, like because <laughs> I, 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 one of the little kids at my school at Pike was just like, yeah, I mean, I I paint my nails, yeah. and I was thing. just like, for what? Yeah, like why? Yeah, and he's like, oh, everybody do that now. The kids are different, but it, the world is different too, bro. And it's cool, and it's fine. I just was wondering what's because the, the nail polish, the the uh, the Mercedes, the the Mercedes is still crazy. Yeah, 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 the hookah, the it's all a part. Uh, <laughs> the hookah, <laughs> yeah. It's all I mean, part of it's same. cool. I mean, do y'all think I ain't hating? But right. I just be kind of like, damn. I just remember like when I was younger, if you was to do that, motherfuckers look at you. Are you crazy? You either uh, Boy. emo, uh, Jimmy uh, Butler. Yep, yeah, Jimmy Butler. Hey, yeah. <laughs> so, for sure, with that slick hair like that. Yeah, they got nothing but Mountain Dew in his room. <laughs> yeah, but you never said nothing to them. And they play Guitar Hero. You better yeah. not say a fucking thing to them. Yeah. You got to be cool with them because, you know, if shit go down to your school, that's going to be the nigga you want to be cool with. <laughs> yeah, I used to always lock in with them. Hey, if y'all do anything, please. Hey, we we cool. had What's sidekicks up, back in the day. And there was a couple of them walking around Ripple. Yeah. Y'all had white people at Ripple? For sure. What is it, bro? That's a really a white area. Oh, I know, but they yeah. didn't want to send these kids there. Nah, yeah, they was going there, but we had a couple of trench coats there. Oh, tr- <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a couple of trench coats? Yeah, a couple of trench coats. It's like, hey, listen, Scotty, no Patriots. Scotty, let me know the day. Yeah, bro, I won't come to school, and bro. We going <laughs> to <gonna> PTO that. <laughs> <laughs> there. And it was crazy because the most crazy nigga in school would see him and be like, "All right, cool." <laughs> yeah, you, know, you yeah. always gotta lock in with them, bro. Yeah. You don't never disrespect them. Never, never, nah, bro. Never. And they game actually boy. be kind of cool. Though. I had a homeboy that was. I was like, "Damn, man, why you do that?" He was like, "I love Maryland." I was like, "Miller, Maryland Monroe." He was like, "Maryland Manson." I was like, "Oh." <laughs> Yeah, you're different. definitely two different people. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> they all, T said they all the same people now. He right. know. I said uh, we definitely go. You want to go hoop later? <laughs> definitely my guy. Like, shout out to Marilyn Monroe. That was the first city girl for keep sure. Me, for sure, for Damn. sure, bro. Now we got sexy red. <laughs> Man, somebody told me she did a porno or something. Uh, yeah, we unfortunately saw some things we didn't need to see. Um, yeah, I didn't watch it. I didn't. No, Don't, but I. <laughs> Sparks a conversation. <laughs> Who has the worst sex tape of all time? I never seen Sexy Red, but I don't even want to clue her in this. Just, uh, I can don't tell y'all a story about mine trying to see a sex tape. I don't, I don't have one, but I try to see one. <laughs> <laughs> look, I try. Look, so I almost got kicked out of Wake Forest. <laughs> <laughs> so look, this is a perfect damn story time with T. This is great. So my sophomore year at Wake Forest, they told me about LimeWire. Yeah, I remember Lime Wire. Oh, of I was go. downloading thousands of music. This nigga, this is got thirsty. Gotta be Ray J and Kim. Air, what? Everybody like, you seen Kim Kardashian sex tape? I'm like, nah. 
<laughs> I'm trying to act like I don't watch stuff like that. I'm like, me, y'all lame. I said, I got to go find this. I go type it in. It's downloading for like five days. I get a knock at my door. Boom, 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 boom. I'm like, answer is late. I'm like, unique wilding. I look, you know, it's the police. I'm like, oh. Same type of person. I'm like, yeah, basically. I'm like, oh, you, my I'm like, unique in male form. What's going on? She, oh hey, like, hey, like, nah. I open the door. He like, oh, we need to talk. My coach sitting there like, damn. damn. I'm like, damn, what they I do? They don't up to your house. Man, I'm looking like, damn, what I do? He like, come with me, grab your laptop. They take me to get my lab. I take my laptop with me. They take me to this office and was like, "You know, you downloaded over five million dollars worth of music." I'm like, "Damn!" They like, "You owe five million dollars." Like, I ain't got no money. What the fuck? They like, man, start taking all. They took my laptop, so I couldn't have my laptop the rest of the year. Now I was like, Dino was like, "What triggered you to see this?" Like, what? He was like, "A Kim Kardashian sex tape." I'm like, "Wow!" I'm like, he was like, "We've been waiting for that sex tape for people on this campus to get it and." Everybody's been downloading, and you got we got you because of that sex tape. Wow! So I didn't see it until I got older, but that's crazy. Definitely, almost got kicked out of Wake Forest for that. That one was weak though, too though. I that's mean, crazy. You you were supposed to go to Ivy Tech yeah. off that. Yeah, for sure, Lenny Cook. <laughs> yeah, I was I was. You supposed to be last year. You ever? <laughs> I was out for a Kim K sex tape. That's crazy, Call me. bro. Damn, <laughs> <laughs> that's tough. Supposed to send my nigga to Joliet. <laughs> yeah, I was almost done. Ben Sins, here I come. Damn, you the new Sean Mary. Man, I was the boy to Vincennes, bro. Uh, Trying to watch a Kim Kardashian. Nah, I ain't never, tape. I didn't really know about celebrity tapes like that. Yeah, I just would randomly see stuff, but I would just be like, that one was crazy because we, I didn't know who really Kim was. I kind of knew for a little bit. But I didn't know who, I knew who Ray J was. was but obviously, you, you know, know who told me about her? Phil Collins. <laughs> oh, Phil. He, he told me about that. Like, Dr. Umar could have heard that. Yeah, he was like, <laughs> he was like, you, you ain't never seen Kim Kardashian? I'm like, mm mm. He like, she caught, she. The boys at my school like her. You know how he is. <laughs> Everybody say she nice, bro. She ain't really my cup of tea, but. Yeah, that ain't his lineage. Nah, he sure. ain't my cup of tea, but. Damn. <laughs> you know, she <laughs> damn near got. Nigga under the bus. Yeah, she damn near <laughs> got to be Lapita, for real. Hey. My dude, he, he, he said black of the bear is sweet and juice. She blacker than the mother. What you say? What you say? She blacker than the mother too. Nigga. Hey. Oh, I was with everybody ridiculous. trying to get Lupita jokes off until we seen the wagon. Everybody was like, you know what, Lupita? Right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know what? Lupita decent. All right. <laughs> I'll smack her in the back of her head. <laughs> nah, for sure. Yeah, Caillou. <laughs> I got no, I brush your hair. I sure. <laughs> I brush your hair. <laughs> She got a fade, don't she? Or she got a fro down. She do got a fro down. Uh, fade or fro? Yeah, fro. I'll take her That's fro. That's crazy. Wait, wait. Are you asking fade or fro? We already did this one. So oh, got okay, mad so we us. can't do this again. <laughs> no, I was just saying from this. this from, I'll, take from Lupita. I'll take Lupita with the fro. Oh, uh, yeah. That's what I'm asking. Not to, for us to do that conversation. Uh, August, so we yeah. can't survive <laughs> <about> it again. <laughs> no, I was I'll just saying what you brought We got the season two behind Grace. I'll take Lupita with the fro. Oh, okay. Oh, God. That's crazy. She actually kind of pretty though, if you look at she her. Is, she is, bro. <laughs> Give me Lupita with the bow wow do rag. Fuck it. Like I, I, I ain't gonna lie. She, she, gonna she damn near fine. She kind of fine, but like I damn near was like I'm damn near a fan, really. Yeah, DJ out of pocket. Why? You, why am I out of pocket? Because bro, anyone with a do rag on, you out of pocket. <laughs> the bow wow do rag is the best do rags on the market. Bro, no, ask the people. Fuck the fuck comments that. gonna tell you, bro. No, they're seven dollars. They're they're quality. The soldier boy feels different, bro. <laughs> So, I, I don't want nothing from Soulja Boy. Then Soulja Boy, his Real girl Soulja take his, all this stuff or something. Oh, never mind. Who, oh, Soulja? Yeah, I was reading something. Oh, yeah, yeah. It yeah. was heaven. He on the chilling circuit now trying to pay it off. <laughs> Damn. Well, Shout out to him, man. We booking. Uh, sure. Soulja Boy, come on a, come on the pod, bro. We Love that. We hey, would have you a, talking about Lime Wire God? That nigga Soulja Boy was the first marketing genius. I'm thinking y'all was about to get a whole mixtape, and it was just crank that in every different form. Yeah, yeah YouTube owe him a big check for that, bro. Yeah, he, he got that shit cracking, bro. It's a couple niggas. Like, I'll say him. He's definitely one of them, and we speak about this often, too. But, nigga, Wiz, a lot of people owe Wiz, bro. Yeah. Wiz doing day-to-days, bro, changed the internet. Because that nigga was crying a lot, like, Going through, and you see him behind the stage, on stage, his music behind the music. More people became fans of him than the music. He was the first respectable backpack rapper to me. 
I wouldn't say that. Don't I just wet Talib quietly like that. Uh, you're not trying to see no behind the footage. <laughs> see, Talib quietly. See that? <laughs> also, I want to call your show. They always disrespect it, bro. I oh, fuck with Tony Carly, but his fans used to be atrocious. <laughs> Him and most definitely two of the dustiest rappers I've ever seen in my life. That nigga used to get on there with that nasty to live ass. Come on here. I, ain't never I seen would, it. but I would've go on his show. His show's yeah, fire. his show's fire. I fuck with Tony Carly, so. But it, oh, them okay. niggas used to wear them UPS brown New York Yankee <laughs> fitness. Them niggas are disgusting. I, I Talib Kweli, like Lupe and them, I wasn't into that. I, I fuck with Lupe. <laughs> I do too. I guess that, but Tyler Kweli, most Dev, them niggas, they was not fresh at all. So you just don't like anybody that's like East Coast? Like I do, bro. Kim and them are lit. How you feel about Jady Rakim? Kiss, Rakim, lyricist. I will listen to Rakim still to this day. Big Daddy Kane? Absolutely not. <laughs> Filthy. <laughs> Filthy nigga. KRS one. Uh, nah, that was before my time. I'm not trying to hear shit. Yeah, Respectfully. Nigga, nigga freestyle for 13 minutes. You like, bro. You not getting no hoes. Yeah. <laughs> As the minutes go by, the vagina's drying up more. <laughs> Ain't no way. <laughs> Y'all niggas is tripping. Ain't no girl pulling up. Oh, let me hear this nigga freestyle yeah. for 15 he minutes. Nigga, nigga, he the nigga asking for all the girls, uh, asking for a hug at the barbecue. Like, <laughs> Hey, it wasn't nothing worse than you go to school, you see the nigga, uh, the can I get a hug nigga? He was the worst nigga on earth. Hey, make a real. Hey, make that a real, bro. I can't wait to see these New York niggas kill him. <laughs> Yeah, KRS one. <laughs> he the nigga that goes to the strip club, baby girl, you do not have to be up here. <laughs> Got a nigga Stanley. <laughs> Stella. <laughs> KRS one just like the nigga that just want to tell you, like whatever fucked up thing you doing in life, he want to educate you about it. Like, he ain't never gonna try to educate you on nothing like about how to get no hoes or nothing like that. So I don't fuck with niggas like that. Man, Cam and them talk about hoes. It bro. is, bro. It, when, yeah. when it, <laughs> yes, it is. When it comes to rapping, bro, that's the we problem love, with our kids now. No, bro. We, we need love KRS Cam. One, bro. No. I mean, they don't talk about hoes no more. You don't need to killing. Yeah, we need KRS One. I'm talking one, about like bro. Cam and them. Y'all wanted to be like Cam and them, bro, because they were swaggy, bro. Yeah. That was fresh. You didn't look at KRS One for anything, bro. That's that was, before our time, bro. Saying, I mean, but KRS One though. used to dress like Sean T, bro. <laughs> hey, hey, don't, don't disrespect my pop. Hey, like hey. That. Don't disrespect my pop. Don't do the like real Sean T like that, bro. <laughs> hey, don't disrespect my pop. <laughs> I'm just saying with the cutoff. So, how you feel about Freeway? Cold. Okay. Yeah. Cold, bro. That's what I'm saying. I so how you feel that. about Memphis Bleak? Don't disrespect Bleak. You better I not. I fuck with Bleak. Don't, you better not. I fuck not. with Bleak. And Bleak fuck with the show. You better I'm not. I'm not going to disrespect Do Bleak. Because around here is like, for real, for real, Slaps. no bullshit in my top five, personally, I love East song. Coast songs. Yeah, I love that I song. Because I love the beat, and he spit on that motherfucker. And he got, he brought the South to the East with yeah. that. And, and that's one of Jay-Z's best hype men. See, for sure, you always gotta do. No, no, like for that, real. Bro. That's who go on tour with him. And I know, I know he do. So when he not, when Bleak ain't there, I really feel like it's different. The show is different. I got a question: What's better around here, or what we do? What we do? Yeah, for sure. Oh damn, that easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah the yeah, landslide. Like, I love Bleak though. Bleak, one of my favorite. Like, I fuck around here though. Yeah, I do too. But Bleak, no, like one of my so crazy, bro. Bleak, one of my favorite people. That like, a bang. That a bang. Cause he, he he like so humble. Like, yeah, he could pop shit. Yeah, like Jay <laughs> love me, bro. I ain't gotta ever work again. But he's yeah. so humble, like he won't even accept that. Like he yeah. just be like, Jay, that's my man, and he he ain't scared to like tell his stories about Jay and like he let niggas know like that's my man. You know, nah. some niggas would be like, Yo, stop asking me about Jay, nigga. Like I'm me. Like nah, he yeah. be like, Nah, Jay, that nigga. Like that's my man. He, nah, he show love. Yeah, I, for I, real. I appreciate that. I, I fuck with Benny Siegel too from the East Coast. I fuck, I fuck with all with them, Beans. bro. Yeah, I, I fuck Rockefeller. With that meant something. That's why when I got them forces, I was geeked. I always want to pair Rockefeller forces just because niggas grew up in that time period. Fucking that's Rockefeller. a slept. Oh. That's a slept on uh, record label. Rockefeller, yeah, they were the slept. best. The be it don't get talked about enough to me. Who you taking, Murder Inc. or Rockefeller? Rockefeller, easy. Why? Right. What you mean, why? 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 why nigga? You taking if Jay? I will give you Jay. Jay, Dipset. Dipset don't really count. They broke up because yeah. of them. But they was uh, so they was still there. Man, they broke up. I'm talking about real <laughs> Rockefeller. That's Beans, Freeway, Bleak. Yeah, I mean, still. Yeah, Miff and Chris. Chris. Yeah. I mean, shit, State Property wasn't there that much longer than Dipset was. I think. What Dipset? If you still include them, I mean, I'm still rolling. But you got to have all of them Dipset in there. was Dipset, though. Dipset, yeah. Jeff saying, like, they was more a joint venture. Yeah. It they was, really yeah. wasn't under the rock like that. Well, if I can't include them, then, yeah, obviously, I feel differently then. That Ja Rule and Ashanti run is... Historically, one of the greatest. But that's runs it, Shout to J Lo. But that's it. But that's, that's it. That's enough. That's enough. Is Jay Z bro. enough though? Yeah, I was gonna say that's not really fair because Jay was bigger than them combined. 
Now, if you were to say Rough Riders or something, then I can understand because DMX was probably just as big, if not bigger, at the time period than Jay was for that window. But uh, Denver got to go with Rockefeller, bro. Them niggas I'm was. I'm not mad at y'all answer. So I'm nah. just saying that, Jay Z. All right, so. Mm, never mind. Now, nah, go ahead. We're here. So, so, Death. Was that uh, bigger than uh, Murder Inc.? Yeah, because I just tell I mean, he fucking had Bow Wow. That nigga had Criss Cross. So he had J Ru. Uh, he had Ja Ru. Uh, I respect to You think ja- ja- Bow Wow was bigger than Ja Ru? Hell yeah, and they peak? Hell no. no. Nigga, what? Are y'all crazy? Man, this nigga are you never, nuts? Are you crazy? <laughs> I fuck with y'all, but y'all out of fucking pocket. Bow Wow was going crazy, bro. bro. Nigga, Bow Wow and Ja Rule were at, his, at his peak. Nigga, if they did a versus today. I don't like this because the music is clearly better from Ja. But I'm yeah, saying. I'm just saying. Yeah, I, I don't even want to say. And he was, he was bigger. bigger. Yeah, bro, for sure, bro. No, Ja, listen. When Bow Wow was peaking, nigga, it wasn't grown people gravitating towards him, nigga. You got to look at Ja Rule as. We were kids still, and he had all the Mike, adults, what's that face? too. No, nah, not damn. Not I say, cr- I don't know why. I just feel like because that market, it's more kids you could buy fucking them them fucking albums for than adults. Nah, bro. Like Bow Wow wasn't Justin Bieber, bro. Nah, he was Hell big nah, in black culture. Well, but he that's not what, white, nigga. That's tough. I'm not. I'm not doing that. I'm just saying, like, I'm not doing that. I'm just I'm saying, like, Ja Rule had us and adults. Yeah, Ja Rule was also in movies. Man, no, his count those. the music Don't was insane, bro. What he just did to Fat Joe in that versus, bro. Well, shout out Drew. to Joey Crack. But that motherfucking that run that he did on that versus, I said, bro, Ja Rule really had 20 hard records. He yeah. had more. Bro, Ja's. That was a bad versus. Why would they put Fat Joe against Ja Rule? No, yeah. Fat Joe just wanted to talk shit. Yeah, I fuck with Fat Joe. Ja got yeah. hits. It's just 50 made us forget it. That's all. I, uh, 50 it, didn't make me forget it. Well, it I worked. think Ja Rule got more. I think Ja Rule got a better catalog than 50. Oh, oh you oh, are out of pocket, oh, sir. No, Jeff is not. But, oh, hey, I think he do. I'm I think grand. versatility-wise for sure, but if you're going off the the slaps, I think he uh, I think he he is a better he artist. He's more aggressive than, I Pete, don't dis- uh, than Ja Rule, but Ja Rule got more hits than 50. And Ja Rule has wrote a lot of R&B songs, too. Yeah, yeah. Ja Rule saying. would wash 50 in the verses. I think versatility wise as a musician, Ja Rule would landslide. But if you're going off a, if you go in the verses between them two, I don't think that he beats 50. What? Ja's biggest songs ain't bigger than another 50 songs. He probably won't beat him in the verses. Yeah, I'm just saying, like catalog. I'm, I'm nothing. Like songs, like keep going, pause. Like the songs, he just got way more than 50. What? But ja Rule after has 50 better first music album, sing, bro. After 50 first album, it gets sleepy, bro. The second yeah. one was hard, though. Uh, the it, Massacre? It was hard. Yes. And, more, the, and he has more hits after one that. One of though. the weakest albums that's gas. That Massacre is not like that. Because the album itself ain't that good, but it's four or five songs in there that's crazy. Yeah, but that album was Just not. like on Get Rich Without Trying. No. Every Hustle song, and Mission every song, is tough. Every song. On no, every, every song on that first album ain't, ain't a heater. Nigga, what? What's, no, what's Jaws' best song? Shit. I don't know. He got well, just name some. It. I ain't trying to be funny. He got mesmerized. He got. Uh, Y'all know down, I don't know. Uh, Y'all gotta start singing them. Uh, no, the shit with Ashanti. Uh, yeah, the collab him and Ashanti like a cheat code. Yeah, then he got the down down for yeah, you. He, he nigga he, he got hits. Him a little mo. Yeah, he got. But uh, also, what's funny is some of Fifty's best songs is about Josh, so that's what makes yeah. the shit gonna go way crazier. Yeah, yeah. like Wayne's New York, hard. New York. What's the New York? When Wayne's to come on in the arena is different. Yeah, cause yeah, New York. That song is cool, but then when he plays Mini Man, what do you do? Nothing. He, I'm saying Fifty will beat him in a verse because yeah. the hits no. are going. I'm saying the catalog is longer. But if you do a versus, he gonna watch him. Nigga, he gonna say Fifty don't back down. <laughs> he gonna he gonna start killing a nigga. Like he gonna, what you gonna play? Clap back. We gonna <laughs> clap back. Nah, I think that shit's weak. But yeah, see, if he play like shit with Bobby Brown and shit, them are good songs. But <laughs> my, nigga, my nigga Bobby Brown came out the <laughs> helicopter to spin move. <laughs> he did the uh, what's the nigga named Fendi? Uh, Fendi, what's the nigga? Uh, uh, the big Fendi. I'm yeah, like, big Fendi. Shout out to that nigga. That's, we need Fendi a, on the show. He the second Bobby Brown. <laughs> Bobby Brown hopped off that plane that wasn't going nowhere. I mean, that, that helicopter. That nigga did the A Rich celebration with the spike. Yeah, that nigga's crazy. Hey, did you see recently? Uh, they was talking about Ray J and random older women he hit. But I, they played the Ray J diss to Bobby Brown. And that's one of the craziest things ever. He dissed Bobby Brown. Yeah, because he was fucking with me. And he was just like, Shout she said she can't go nowhere because she needs you, but I'm still her boyfriend. Yeah, Ray J a legend, though. He, he get a Bobby, pass. Yeah, Whitney Houston. Yeah, no, they was a date. They date, bro. 
Watch his mirror. Hey, Ray J, come on the show, man. For he sure, bro. Kim, Whitney, who else? Now, the lineage is deep. Yeah. For Ray sure. Ray He's Ray a real Ray. Nick Cannon. Nah, for sure. Ray J, you living an every man dream, man. Yeah, like, for real. Ray J and Nick Cannon are top tier, bro. How you get Under Whitney Ray Houston? Day. I don't even know if I would have wanted him Whitney Houston at that time, but the fact that he did it. But she used to help Brandy out a lot, too, so uh, it makes sense. But, like, why would you want to hit? Never mind. Why wouldn't you, bro? Whitney Houston was beautiful, bro. Nigga, that was a nah. preacher's wife. He was cracking. She, I don't think she was beautiful at this time. What? When he was dating her, bro, she was still normal. I, mm, she had died <laughs> when he was dating her. Huh? That's when oh. she died. I'm not putting it. <laughs> bro, <laughs> look it up. She was dating Ray J at the time when she died. I just thought about it. Hey, I love when we say stuff and don't fact, don't, don't fact check it. It's funnier this way. Don't fact check nah, it. Nah, for real. I, I just thought about it. All I'm saying is Whitney Houston is, first of all, the greatest singer ever on the woman's for, side. For sure, Number two, Top five being of all time. Number two, bro, she was a beautiful woman, bro. She was pretty. But this at this on time. On that cocaine. What's, that, what's the last the time cocaine, she, uh, what's that last movie she was in? Sparkle. This is when he was dating. In my line, boom, I said, I just remember, just flashback. Was so I ain't crazy. saying Ray J killed her. I guess so you got saying, like, you said like Ray J made the bath fuck, water. Bro. She was always I saying that. Bro. I said they was getting high together. I don't care if she was time. goddamn higher than motherfucking Jimi Hendrix, bro. She wasn't <laughs> looking at If you go look at the episode when she was on that show with Bobby Brown, she won that final one. Oh, yeah, bro. It was. Yeah, she. She was out there looking like Kyle Jones. <laughs> Beautiful woman, bro. She, she was a great singer, but when she was young, she was definitely. Like, what's that movie, uh, Bodyguard? She was gorgeous. Well, Bodyguard's a fire movie, too. Yeah, but she was beautiful then. Wasn't she in Waiting to Exhale, too? Beautiful. Yeah, she was Absolutely. Fire. No, that's the time period where music stars was in movies. I think that's why our stars today, like, don't have that same type of, like, run because none of these niggas is in no movies that you really care about. Yeah. yeah. But Whitney Houston was beautiful. But at that time, she wasn't. I wouldn't be hyped today, Whitney Houston. I would have I would have messed with her and told y'all like Man, I'm taking Whitney down. Can y'all believe that shit? Uh, all right, when you she got you that Starbucks order, you'd have felt a little different. You'd have been something. <laughs> Man, I nigga do that she did, to, she did used to do that, did she? <laughs> Beat the dude, he gave her Starbucks cup. DJ was that in the movie the... or something like that? I remember in the movie. Uh, hey, it was something that like allegation that. Allegation list is no, no, no. crazy. Y'all ain't never seen her movie. <laughs> he ain't never seen my King, movie. I don't know nothing. How y'all yeah. be Blue doing C. me? I don't know nothing. <laughs> Go crazy. A shark. I so. the night. <laughs> my loneliness. Go crazy, T. I want to dance yep. with somebody. Oh, you going to dance, all right. <laughs> I want to feel the heat. <laughs> and on that note. No, nah, we, we ain't done. Oh, you got more? No, we ain't oh, done. Yeah, Fuck that. Yeah, let's have a show, bro. Let's have some more of your BBL, T, bro. Let's go crazy. Relax. Let's have a tea. The real shit of Hudson. Hey. <laughs> the girls are talking about, yes, I lost 150 pounds drinking this tea. No, bitch, you had a needle on the side of you. <laughs> Damn, see, yeah, it's time to go now. <laughs> they was having parties for this shit. Let tummy tea on me. Hey. Nigga, that's simply lemonade. I think the first real scammer so far as girls losing weight was Jenny Craig. She was the first. <laughs> Them bullshit ass meals that taste like wallpaper. <laughs> <laughs> the motherfucking league was ease. My loneliness gone. Oh, oh, oh man. man. <laughs> Jenny Craig, Y'all remember man. the Noni juice? Oh, yeah, Noni. for sure. Bro, that, that almost fucked up some Shout out to my and... nigga Brandon Wells and his daddy used to sell that shit. <laughs> He's another friend from the Pike Lydia as well. Don't, Relax. Don't put us on that. <laughs> he was. He don't be Wells. <laughs> Uh, it, Relax. <laughs> he live in LA now? Yeah. New York, I know, yeah. yeah, I know hey, you're talking about. Well too. Man, they, I'll never forget when T.O. was a spokesperson in the Super Bowl. When he was like, yeah, I broke my leg and came back and played. Nigga, this juice did not heal your broken fucking leg, you liar. Bro, got paid to say that, bro. I told y'all. I fuck with T.O. too, but that was crazy. I'm like, nigga, no juice you can drink can heal your broken bones, nigga. But That's I wonder funny. if that tummy tea really do work, though. I know we give people Probably a lot of shit a lot. Yeah, bro, I'm sure it does. It's, it's like regular tea. If you drink a lot of regular tea, you're going to use the bathroom a yeah. lot, bro. There's no difference. When but the that's one of the best finesse of all time. I'm mad I never got in on that yeah. shit. Yeah. The fitness finesse is crazy. All you need, I keep telling y'all, all you need is a celebrity, bro. That's why I be telling y'all with shoes and clothes, put a list celebrity behind it, bro. It's, that's marketing. Shit gonna nah, skyrocket. don't always work, though. I'm not saying think it about always works. Think about them Reebok G units. It worked because them shits did numbers. They was yeah, trashing they them. DJ was in the shoe stores when they was Okay, at. but Sean Carter didn't do that good. 
Oh, y'all gotta ask DJ. DJ Mike I mean, was in the shoe store, so I don't know. But they wasn't like. But it's they, a reason niggas ain't retro them yet. Please don't. <laughs> but <laughs> that price point it's was still reason, affordable. It's still a reason Reebok had to sell. Were they a hundred? They were right under it. Oh, okay. Yeah, I never even looked. So but that's like N ones. When you when they start selling N ones in all regular all, retailers, and you had to the buy them to get the black, mixtapes. I don't mean to cut you off, but the all black N ones that came with the fucking Skip versus Ali Mo DVD were some of the hardest shoes ever. Bro. You're a liar. You you I don't am, like bro. those shoes. Out of N ones, you didn't those like those. Those were the best N ones, bro. There's the no all be, black ones, no bro. best N one. It is, bro. <laughs> Out of the package, bro. I have never. Yeah. They never and. And ones were I have never wanted an N1 shoe. I had some. I, they, I had some Tai Chi's. They had to fire it. Like, they gear was Accessors. fire. Yeah. They, sh- they shirts. That motherfucker said, I need a straight jacket because I got crazy handles. I said, I need the shirt. Yeah, they were fire. I have to have it. No, they, they merch was. Yeah, they merch was But crazy. did you want the shoes to go with it? No. <laughs> I did, bro. Did not I want them shoes. Was they, they was Two-tone smart kicks was always weak to me. Yeah, there's hot cheese, and that was the no, only yeah. one that looked kind of DC. Yeah. You had to get them. Because they had that price point, too. You had to spend over, like, a certain amount to get the DVD. Yeah. That DVD was legendary. Boy, but one of the best. And one mixtape volume five, bro. One Life the changer, bro. That, yeah, that's the green camo. The best one ever is Skip was the best one. That's the first one. Ali Mo was my favorite. And one? Yeah, he was the best. That first DVD changed my life. I wanted to play just like them. I started dribbling, throwing it off yeah. people's head. Then Hot Sauce came. He had niggas traveling in the game. He had me doing all type of illegal moves. I used to just like, I liked AO game too. Yeah, he was the real. Cool. I was gonna the say, real, yeah. <laughs> who, who ain't there for a yeah. You know, I fucked with Ao. I fucked with Ao too. That was my favorite one. And <laughs> now we gotta wrap it up. But it was crazy. Hey man, they really got fucked over. Them niggas on ESPN every day. They had one of the hardest shows ever, bro. They did. Didn't get paid for nothing. Didn't get paid a goddamn. Thing. That's crazy. Hey, all I'm saying is, anytime we wild out, I'm gonna reference that Britney Ritter episode. Oh uh, yeah, nope. That one be the to. best. Some of the best TV I ever seen. Hey, he boy. he went back to back pause. Like he went Brittany Renner to Marshawn Lynch. That's unbelievable, bro. Oh yeah. shit, bro. That, that's unbelievable. Shout oh, out to shit. Unk, man. Yeah, Club Shay said that was fire. Brittany Renner gave you some uh, great epic, content. Then Marshawn Lynch man. came with the man. Yeah. What else did she? Get? Future. Got, that's why he the goat. <laughs> so when you go, uh, never lie to pass Russell. us a guest. <laughs> <laughs> never lied about Russell. Can you pass us a guest, please. <laughs> Yeah, watch we get fucking <laughs> Russell Wilson. I'll take it. <laughs> Sub, be swift. <laughs> Your time is coming, Nancy, because I won't be here for that. I won't disrespect future like that. <laughs> Russell, you can be on the show with us, man. I would never. We don't, bro, I, I, we don't I, care. We don't I, care about what he got going that's on. That's why. That motherfucker going to turn into so, Christian Alwer. You hear me? <laughs> Uh, so listen, I man. Ass nigga. Shout out to the GOAT, man. <laughs> Russell, Russell, don't. fuck nigga. How you call Marshawn from a block number, bro? No, that's fire. <laughs> I didn't want you to have my number, man. This, you're you're not my friend, nigga. We at work. <laughs> Understand. Don't fuck with that, bro. Yeah, that is weak, though. Now that is out of pocket, actually. And then for him <laughs> to call back, like, nah, it's me. <laughs> that's even funny. <laughs> <laughs> nah, bro, it's me. <laughs> Who is this? It's me. What you want? Dude, that nigga's Fuck funny. that nigga, bro. Damn, man. And on that note, we're going to get up out of here so we can possibly have an episode again next week. Like, share, subscribe, all that good shit. Shout out to the Patreon gang. We fucks with y'all heavy. Club 520. Brian, we love you. We love you. We love you. No 360. We joking. This shit.